Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and Elemental Week continues. Today we are going to be doing air, or wind as I prefer to say. And just like I said yesterday, we're going back to that because I rolled classic and then proceeded to go without doing anything because I'm a genius. So, how do we want to do our air build? There's so many different ways to do each elemental build, it's actually kind of special. So, for the time being, let me start with that. Now, I usually like air burst, but depending on what I'm going for, razor burst might be the... I'm sorry, razor burst is what I usually go for. Air burst might be the better option, depending on what I'm going for. But, let's start there. Let's actually go to pick our signature next. Now, normally when I go to pick my signature, I like Sonic Breaker, Gust Volley, Cyclone Boomerang. Blurring Falconry is okay. It's got issues. Shearing Chain is good. Airborne Slam is good. Why don't we go Gust Volley? And then for our standard... Let's see, Rushing Typhoon is good. Got that. That's, oh god, there's so many things I could. There's so many things I like, honestly. <clears throat> um. Yeah, this is one of those elements where I have very few bad things to say about most of the spells. Like, even the spells that I'm not a big fan of, other people have found ways to make work, so... Hardly anything that I'm going to... <clears throat> I'm going to make fun of or talk badly about. Even the spells that I don't like, I'm typically okay with. Now, for what it's worth, wind is not my favorite element. I believe that would be reserved for either water or lightning. But I do like the wind element, and I think there's a lot here that's good. Maybe Airborne Slam is the right idea. Use that to get close and then fire off the old, the old burst of wind. Yeah, I think that's the right idea. Airborne Slam being one of the uh, one of the better jump arcana gives us quite a lot to work with. Increases movement speed and evade chance. So something like that is not a bad idea. I think we've got the right idea here. It's just a matter of do we go with <clears throat> do we go with the robe I currently have on or do I pick something else? Now, since it comes with its own evade chance, one would think that our best bet would be to go with something that synergizes with that, but there isn't a whole lot that does. That having been said, this comes with its own 10% evade chance, and a little bit of critical chance, so we might be able to make something out of that. I'll give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? I lose? Oh no, the horror. Yeah, don't ever, like, if for some reason you're you're making yourself feel bad about losing a run in this game, trust me when I say that the only thing that happened is you found a way to not complete that run. Oh, I was gonna go to the Sky Palace, damn. Come on. Of course, now he's going to take forever to come back around to it. There we go. And I know that sounds like I'm being facetious when I say, Oh, you just found a way to not do it. No, seriously. Sometimes the best way to learn is by failing. And the only way you're ever going to fail is if you try. And again, I know that sounds kind of odd. But trust me when I say that that learning the hard way is, your, is the only way you're ever going to learn. I know I'm sound... Again, I know it sounds bad when I say it like that. Oh, 
What I'm getting at, though, is that sometimes what you need to what you need to learn is like the enemy's attack patterns. And oftentimes, learning their attack patterns can be the most difficult part. So, by committing yourself to at least to at least giving him giving a run your all and understanding, you know, was it my understanding of the enemy that was wrong? Was it a bad choice in Arcana? Did one of my cursed relics screw me over? Like, there is absolutely no harm in losing a run. So if I lose this run, it just means that I that I made a mistake that I can learn how to correct. Well, you know what I want from here, but first, let's see if there's any way that we can build up our arsenal. After all, in order to... In order to activate, the, what is it, quartz? It's not diamond. Hold on. Oh, it is quartz. But the only way we're going to activate that is with more wind-based arcana. like if she were selling airborne slam upgrade and no we don't get that but <clears throat> we do get quite a few other goodies first of all we get that we get that and we get that so we will not be actually it's probably better if i leave it like that so we will not be adopting both fairies, unfortunately. But we will likely have the money available to adopt one of them. How did I not find the red po- oh, I did. I'm just a dummy. But I also can't really take advantage of that without losing Airborne Slam, so let's just move on. That means that we'll find the Crimson Clover. Now let's see. And I hope we come I hope we can find Vesa again later. But for right now, this is good. This is going quite well so far. I know it's too early to judge whether or not things will stay this way, considering how runs tend to go in this game. But right now things are looking pretty solid. Not the smartest move I've ever made, but could have been worse.
Oh, and for what it's worth, I'm pretty sure that Wind Flurry has the fastest has the fastest cooldown time of any of any spell in the game. So if you want something that you can throw out in on consistency, whether you're doing a high tempo run or not, that's your that's your spell. It is also a pretty good signature. I just don't really use it that often. Maybe I should. this. Okay, well, activating Nev Sapphire is definitely at the top of our list. But... Also want to see what's over here and I see one thing that I really like I just don't think I can get enough out of it to may have to make up the cost but let's do some quick math I need 225 if I short myself 125 that will bring me down to 161 yeah there's really not going to be much of a chance to well, hold on. Is there another battle room? If there's another battle room, I can probably make this work. I'm gonna take a chance. I think there will be one more battle room before we go fight the mini-boss. Or, you know, I could be completely wrong about that. Alright, well, I might have just made a huge mistake. Yeah, I think I made a mistake. But, I'm not going to worry too much about that, because see, what I can do is go ahead and upgrade my robe for greater critical hit chance. And we just pick up another Wind Elemental Arcana later. Now, I am fully aware that I might not find another Wind Elemental Arcana later, so... If that ends up being the case, feel free to yell at me for my stupidity in the comments. Because <laughs> at that point, I will deserve it. There we go. Oh, see, it didn't matter. 
All right, so let's go ahead and move this up here for the time being. All right, and we now have enhanced movement speed and more evasion opportunity. So let's have a look. So including the evasion chance for my upgraded robe, I now have a 35% evasion chance, and I evade all critical hits in general. See, now what we really need is the Covert Ops Mask. And of course the Royal Flush, but eh. Sucker, he can't hit me. Okay, hold on. We are going to have to do this the slightly smarter way. There we go. Almost didn't make it, though. Ooh, I like that too. Do I like it better than Wind Flurry, though? I don't use Wind Flurry very often, whereas Mox, whereas Mox Stunner and and Gale Force Alignment, I use all the time. Honestly, I kind of like what I have now. I kind of don't want anything from Nocturne, so even if he does show up here, which I'm pretty sure he won't... Especially seeing as I've already found the red portal and it wasn't him. Then yeah, just just grab it and go. See, I also believe that all of my arcana now slow. So in actuality, I really don't need Gale Force alignment because I'm already I'm already making it. I'm already hampering my enemies enough with basically every action I take. So really no need for that. Ah, loser. So normally by this point, I will have already spoken about... Okay, so I think... Hold on. Best things to grab would be this, this... And this. So this is normally the point in which I talk about the most well-known airbenders in the last airbender saga. But without without going too far into things, the only one I know is A. I'm sorry, I'm sure that there are other that there are other like 
influential windbenders in the series, but I won't lie, I don't know the series as well as I probably should. I mean, yeah, take that with a grain of salt. I'm, <clears throat> I am, I love the series and I appreciate its world building, the characterization, all of that. I just don't know much beyond the last Airbender. Like even, like even Legend of Korra, I don't know as well as I probably should. And I know that there's stuff that came after that, like comics and whatnot. So you'll have to forgive my ignorance on future airbenders, even though Aang was supposed to be the last one. My guess is that's no longer the case in the future. fun with this. Just this whole idea of, ha, I'm too quick for you to catch me. Like, movement is one of the strong, it was one of the strong suits of the air element traditionally. Not necessarily just in this game. Just, you know, traditionally when you know when you know someone who specializes in the wind element, more fairies, you know someone who knows how to get around. Do I care about the Golden Armor of Envy? I probably should. But store prices are increased. Alright. I've already been to that store. Are all of my Arcana upgraded? Honestly, Golden Armor is probably just fine. Plus, that gives a, that gives greater cooldowns and signature charge rate. So no complaints here. That wasn't smart. Beautiful fight in there. Let's get out of there. Owie. How dare you? Not that I'm not making enough money as is, I'm just saying. I'd rather not take that hit. Well, I would say at this point, she would have to be selling something pretty incredible for me to go against what I already have, and as much as I love Shearing Chain, that ain't it, Chief.
Nie. Ooh, that was awful. And victory! And we will not be taking that because that doesn't fit what we're doing. And we our build just got a substantial upgrade because now we're finally fighting enemies that take normal damage from our attacks. Uh-oh. Sonic Breaker, you're so good. And yes, we'll grab that. Just so, just so that we have everything maxed out. Actually, I kind of want to use that over Wind Flurry, but Wind Flurry recharges so quickly. I'll just keep with what we've got for right now. Remember, when in doubt, blame all of your problems on elemental summoners. It doesn't matter how ridiculous it sounds, just somehow or another, they're always your problem. Can't, can't handle the bigger enemies in the room because there's too much crap on screen to deal with? Definitely the problem with the elemental summoner. Getting beat up in a small room? Elemental summoner. Car broke down and you don't have any backup fuel, Elemental Summoner. Your country's economy is collapsing because the working class can't afford the cost of living? Well, first check to make sure that there isn't a greater political struggle at work, then blame the Elemental Summoner. anything here I want so we'll just we'll just keep on keep up with the with the token of misfortune and see what our token of doom I'm sorry. example of where of where wind center would actually be the better option oh, hmm I see two things I like honestly might just go with the Mimic, as I see things there that I can get rid of. Plus, I have plenty of money to buy extra relics, so the Mimic is definitely the right option. Now first, let's go ahead and clear this to see if we get any freebies from here.
All right, any freebies? Nope. Okay, no problem. So let's put down the things here that we're going to want to keep. We want to keep that. We want to keep that. We want to keep that. I can actually probably stand to get rid of that. We want to keep that at least for one more round. Keep that, keep that, keep those. Okay, so there isn't a whole lot here that I want to get rid of, but... With the power, with the power of large amounts of money. There we go. Honestly, if it's a good enough superpower for Batman, it's a good enough superpower for me, damn it. And now we're at 12 and 15. I love it. Wow, you're still up. I'm impressed. Annoyed, but impressed. The idea that that recharges so quickly makes it a really interesting, consistent source of damage. Actually, probably be really good on a critical hit build. You just love completely one sided combats. Ooh, owie. have here? Well, I can either increase my evasion chance even further at the cost of some critical hit, which, you know, annoying but workable. But you know me, I'm going to focus on the offensive one. I can feel that strength of the Avatar welling up inside me. <clears throat> Feels like... indigestion. Okay, that might not be the strength of the Avatar now that I think about it. And they think wind is the least aggressive element. Ha! I'll show them.
perfect. I mean, not in the, like, I didn't take damage sense, but perfect as in that went according to plan. Why am I explaining this to you? You probably already know what I'm thinking. Shield. I just don't know if I need you. Probably be better than the Puffy Parka, honestly. not the idealist mirror. So yeah, I think that's a better choice than the Puffy Parka. Um, well. I mean, this would have been nice to have way earlier in the run, but still nice to see. And since I don't have a use for you anymore... <laughs> yeah, blah, 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 no wizard, hey, yada, yada, yada. That was just dumb of me. I love Sonic Breaker so much. Whoa, that was like the worst shot in my life. How did I manage to do that? I didn't want to waste my shot at a critical hit there. Oh, I'm being really dumb now. Okay, almost lost it at the end there thanks to Hubris, but you know what? We still managed a victory. That's good enough for me. Honestly, I feel like I should have done a second lap to really make use of that Covert Ops mask. But, oh well. We still got through the run, that's the important part. And that means that there's only three elements left to go. Earth, Lightning, and Chaos. All of those were going to run with their respective gems, and it'll be a jolly good show. Even if I am still a little embarrassed that I lost with the fire element, which is my favorite, favorite jewel, but oh well. So, everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate your continued support through my long-running Wizard of Legends series. It really does mean a lot to me that you're okay with me just doing this constantly, and yeah, that's really all I have to say. Just thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate your continued support. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you may happen to be, and I will see you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and take care, everybody. <laughs>